guys, Connie here. Still three weeks post-op from my mommy makeover surgery. Um, something just came in the mail. Um, this is my liposuction foam. Um, it's not something that my plastic surgeon uh, per se recommended or told me about, but it is something that I had researched and I'd seen used especially a lot in the States. And what it does is it basically helps with contouring, um, it helps with compression, and it helps with sort of providing a barrier between your body and these very, very tight compression garments. And if you watch my three week update, uh, video yesterday. Um, I had all my stitches removed and I'm gone back to doing some light dressings on the breast and over the belly button just to protect it um, during these first few days where the stitches just came out. Um, but also I sized down to an extra small compression garment and a different compression garment than what I was wearing before. And I just find that it gives me really, really good compression, but it also digs in in areas where it's sort of uncomfortable. So you'll see, um, and I'll explain to you a bit more, but it basically came from Amazon and I can provide the link. It was three sheets um, and I think it was about $35 and it came from the US. Um, so it took a little longer to come in. So I would recommend that you order this in advance so that you have it when you need it. I sort of wish I had had these from day one wearing compression garments, um, but I'm three weeks now and I'm still thankful that I got it and I still intend to use it. So um, three big sheets like this came in, but I've already cut down one um, to make some smaller squares and I wanna show you what I did. So you can probably see a little bit here. I literally took one full sheet and I put it right across my abdomen so that I could flatten and contour this area. I find when I don't use the lipo foam, I find that when I take off the garment, I have a lot of lines just from the garment itself and like the hooks on the side of the garment, they start to dig in. And like you'll see, I shove some here because right at the bottom where the garment meets my hip bone, and also that's where my incision goes right up and until, and I don't wanna end up with a dog ear and I don't wanna end up with anything being irritated there. So I literally just cut a small square like this and I popped it underneath on the side to give me a little barrier in that area. Yesterday, I was feeling a lot of pressure right underneath my breasts where my bra meets the compression garment. So yesterday, I don't have them in there now, but yesterday I had put a band here as well to give me some barrier. Um, and for the first time, I'm putting a nice big sheet underneath my garment here to help contour my stomach. So I just wanted to show that you guys what liposuction foam looks like. I'm honestly not sure what the difference is between this foam and like any other kind of craft or upholstery foam. Um, I mean, it's medical grade, but it still smells like there's chemicals in it to me. I don't have this um, laying on any type of open wound. Uh, my belly button, which is still quite sensitive from having the sutures removed yesterday, has a Band-Aid over it. Um, these are just from the dollar store. They're nice big um, white bandages that I mentioned in another video that I've been using that are really helpful. Um, and they're nice and cotton. So this is right now what I have over top my belly button is one of these nice white cotton. So you can just picture my belly button has this and then over top of that is the foam. And then over top of the foam is my garment. And so it's nice and protected. And I have a feeling that the next time I take off my garment, I won't have so many lines all over my body. So anyhow, liposuction foam, I believe um, it's uh, considered half inch in thickness. Um, and I would imagine that if you can get yourself on another type of foam that's the same thickness or even a little thinner, um, it probably does the same thing. I would just make sure that there is nothing nasty in it that would irritate your skin or body. Um, I probably just overpriced paid for foam to be delivered from the US considered liposuction foam. Uh, considering now that I got it in, I'd say it's just standard foam, to be honest with you. So anyhow, liposuction foam, really, really good idea. Um, really, really helps with contouring. I'm getting a lot of side boob right now and a lot of like, armpit flub because of how tight the garment is and how tight my bra is. And so I'm starting to feel like a little irritated here as well. So I can imagine that if I really want, I could probably even put the foam there. I mean, I know it looks ridiculous, but it feels good. Um, so if I'm just like at home by myself, I wouldn't care to just go around the house like that. I've been experimenting with ways to sort of hide these extra straps and twist them so that they can sort of stay together and not create so much irritation. 
on my side area, but anyhow, the foam might provide a good solution for that. So just wanted to give you guys an update. Liposuction foam, definitely get it.